hawa ambao wanatupigia makelele saa hii miaka tatu ijayo watakuwa wanatupigia makofi because we are going to make a difference in Kenya and we are going to change our country mimi nawashukuru watu wa Nairobi kwa sababu county yenu ni county ya muhimu hii ndio capital city ya Kenya ile mipango yote tunafanya Kenya tunaanza na Nairobi hapa mnakumbuka niliwaeleza ya kwamba tunapanga mambo ya matibabu watu wengi Kenya hii bado wako na matatizo wakienda hospitali kulipa ni shida watu wanauza mali yao watu wanauza magari watu wanauza mifugo watu wanauza shamba kulipa hospitali katika ile mpango tumeanzisha na wabunge hawa nataka niwashukuru kina kamande wamepitisha sheria ine mpya bunge ya kusimamia na kudhibiti mambo ya matibabu katika taifa letu la Kenya and it's because we have thought through what are we going to do sasa roll out ya hiyo mpango tumeanza pale chini hapa Nairobi tuko na community health promoters 1700 nafikiri na 200 tayari each one of them tumewapatia equipment na tunataka kila community health promoter aweze kufika kwa manyumba yenu tuweze kushughulika na mambo ya afya pale nyumbani hata kabla kujaenda hospitali pale mbele tunasema ina new social health insurance fund hautaambiwa tena pale hospitali ati kadi yako imeisha pesa enda uza shamba kila mtu ile exclusions ilikuwa ndani ya mambo ya matibabu ya NHIF ya kusemekana kansa hauwezi kupata matibabu sijui nini hauwezi kupata matibabu we have now removed all the exclusions wewe ukienda hospitali utatibiwa mpaka upone na gharama hiyo italipwa na either bima ama italipwa na serikali ya Kenya pia tumesema kuna watu hapa kwa sababu hawana uwezo hawana pesa ya kulipia NHIF katika mpango yetu mpya tumesema hata yule ambaye hana uwezo wa kulipa kadi ya NHIF na tumedhibitisha ya kwamba hana uwezo tutamulipia kadi ya NHIF kama serikali ya Kenya ili kusipatikane mkenya hata mmoja anabaki nyuma katika harakati hii ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba kila mkenya anapata matibabu so we are going to move together hii kazi haitafanyika hivi lakini itapangwa vizuri and this is how we are going to change kenya tumeweka mpango kamili ya kuzalisha ajira ya vijana kwa sababu vijana ni wengi kenya hawana kazi na kazi haiwezi kupatikana tu hivi lazima ipangwe ndio tumepanga kazi kwa housing tumepanga kazi kwa digital platform tumepanga kazi kwa export of labor na hiyo kazi yote inaendelea ile ya housing imeanza Kenya sasa tuko na watu zaidi ya 1120 wanafanya kazi katika program ya housing 120000 mpango yetu ni kufikisha watu kati ya 1300 ama 1400 wanaofanya kazi once we roll out our program in full kwa sababu hawa vijana tusiwapangia vile watapata kazi watasumbuka wataingia kwa madawa wataingia kwa ulevi wataingia kwa uhalifu na sio makosa yao ni kwa sababu wamekosa vile ya kutumia wakati wao na nguvu walio nayo na masomo walio nayo it is our responsibility to make sure that we create opportunities for young people in Kenya to work and they must be deliberate so hiyo kazi yote tunafanya wengine wanachanganyikiwa hawaelewi ni nini tunafanya mimi nataka niwashukuru sana hapa Nairobi nilikuja hapa Roisambu hapa Nairobi bado tuko na watoto wengi hawasomi so many kids especially 
in our informal settlement na ni makosa kubwa sana katika capital city ya Kenya kwamba hakuna kuna watoto wanaangaika huko kwa sababu wazazi wao hawana uwezo mashule hakuna Nairobi hapa tuko na shule miambili imagine mimi wakati nilikuwa ni mbunge nilikuwa na mashule moja hamsini na ilikuwa ni one constituency kule kijijini sasa city ya Nairobi jameni inawezekanaje kuwa na shule mbili constituency kumi na saba. Si ni makosa makubwa hiyo. Ndio nikasema tutajenga madarasa mengine elfu tatu na tano kama serikali Nairobi County. Na ndio sababu Thursday iliyopita nilisign supplementary budget ambayo tumeweka shilingi bilioni moja ya Nairobi County kujenga mashule ya watoto wetu hapa Nairobi County. Nataka wale watoto wote wanaishi especially in the informal settlements hao wabunge na nitashirikiana na wao kuhakikisha ya kwamba we build an additional 3500 classrooms in Nairobi so that all our children have an opportunity to go to school. Na nimekubaliana na county government ya Nairobi wakati tutajenga 3500 Nairobi county watatusaidia kujenga madarasa tano. nyinyi MCS mlio hapa waheshimiwa eh my friends mpitishe hiyo budget yenu pale na nashukuru nimeambiwa ya kwamba kuna mambo mmefanya so asanteni sana because tunataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba every child in Kenya must have an opportunity to learn na ndio sababu mliona ya kwamba mwaka huu tumeajiri walimu wengine na sita wapya kwa sababu elimu ndio msingi na elimu Mandela alisema is the greatest equalizer mahali ambapo inapatikana usawa pale kwa elimu watoto wetu wakisoma so tutashirikiana hivyo tutafanya kazi hivyo na tutapeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele jana mulisikia sasa wale watu walikuwa wanasungumuza mambo ya dialogue wamemalizana na hiyo kazi na tunawapongeza wamemaliza hiyo kazi sasa tuungane tupeleke Kenya mbele yeah. wametoa mapendekezo na hiyo mapendekezo yote wametoa ni sawa mahali wamesema tupunguze gharama ya serikali ile watu wanaenda eh, safari ile watu wamesema ipunguzwe by 50 uh, by 30% wengine wamesema ipunguzwe by 50% hiyo ya 50% nimefanya tayari kupunguza hiyo by 50% ile wanasema ipunguzwe by 30% mimi napendekeza hata tuongeze ikuwe 50% ndio tupunguze zaidi ndio Kenya iweze kusonga mbele because we must learn to live within our means yale mambo mengine yote wamependekeza sasa nyinyi wabunge muende mukalie hiyo maneno tumalizane sisi wa Kenya wengine tuungane sasa tushirikiane na kujenga taifa letu la Kenya bila ugomvi bila chuki na bila ya kugawana tuwe pamoja so that we can move together as a country And therefore I want to congratulate all the teams that were involved in the dialogue process they have come up with recommendations I I have seen the recommendations they are in good stead all the recommendations they are made they are practical we are going to work on those recommendations to reduce in areas they have recommended to do whatever they have uh, recommended in parliament those that belong to the executive i will make sure that we execute without any delay the job of the rest of us as kenyans now is to unite and move together into the future to build our country to build the unity of the citizens of our country and to work on our economy so that we can grow we can grow jobs and we can enhance production and productivity so that we can reduce the cost of living and we can create opportunities for Kenyans 
to be their best. Kwa hivyo ndugu zangu watu wa Priestfood mimi nataka niwashukuru sana kwa maombi yenu kutuombea kuombea taifa letu la Kenya na niwahakikishie ya kwamba Kenya is going to go places. Tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi. Mumeniuliza ya kwamba tujenge hiyo kanisa pamoja eh, Bishop JJ nimekusikia eh nitakutafutia shilingi milioni tano ya kupanga hiyo kazi utani utanitembelea pale umesema unataka kuja kutembea eh nitakupanga hiyo maneno wiki hii unitembelee eh? na na ukuja na senator <laughs> Mimi nasikia kuna seneta hapa. Au oh, kuja na seneta ndio nipange hiyo kazi na hiyo ingine umesema nimekusikia. Eh, na nimekuelewa pia. So nitapanga hiyo kazi. Eh, niko na kalamu inaweza kufanya hiyo kazi. So eh, nitapanga hapo na kuna mambo mengine tutakuja tuongee vile tutaweza kusonga mbele pamoja na waumini wa kanisa hii na viongozi wengine na pia mji wetu wa, wa Nairobi. So kwenu ni nyote nataka niseme asante sana. Mjumbe wenu amelieleza mambo ya kamae. I made a commitment. Naona kuna watu wa kamae hapa ama na magani. Eh, watu wa kamae hapo. Eh, tumepanga mambo yenu na tumehakikisha ya kwamba wale squatters ambao wako na magari kubwa kubwa tumewaondoa ndio wale wale <laughs> si ndio unajua hii nchi iko na maneno mingi nakuta mtu anasema yeye ni squatter na hako na V8 sasa unamuuliza wewe ni squatter sasa <laughs> wewe ni squatter wa aina gani wewe eh so tumewaambia hapana si ndio squatter tunajua ni squatter ni kina nani so tuna eh, nyorosha hiyo list na nimemwambia mjumbe wenu how we are going to work on it eh, tukimaliza hiyo kazi tutawapatia title zenu na tutapanga hiyo dunia iende sawa sawa na zile kazi zingine zote mimi nitarudi hapa tena na tena na tena mpaka tuhakikishe Kenya inasonga mbele so ndugu watu wa hapa Kahawa West na watu wa Roisambu na watu wa Kanairo asanteni sana mimi nawapenda sana na watakia heri na watakia baraka ya Mungu na mwendelee kutuombea na kuombea taifa letu la Kenya mwadhani ya muradhime